Welcome back, everybody. I'm thrilled to have you back for another episode of Resilient Rainer. This podcast episode is a newsletter episode. So just a reminder, if you didn't know, I write a weekly newsletter filled with mental performance coaching tips for Western writers in addition to producing this podcast. So if you want to get that sent straight to you, you can go to newsletter.resilientreiner.com or head over to nicoleburnettcoaching.com and sign up and I will send it to you every week to keep your mind in tip-top shape. So this episode I am thrilled to get into, we are getting into self-esteem in the saddle because there's a lot of sneaky things that happen inside our brains, right? And sometimes our brains tell us things that aren't true. So in this podcast today, I am going to expose four lies that undermine your self-esteem in the saddle, and I'm going to share how you can defeat them. All right, let's go. I'm going to fall off. My horse runs so fast, it's out of control. I can't ride her. Oh, my horse is guaranteed to spook in that corner. Marlene's in my class? What's the point? She's going to beat me. I don't think I can do this. Do you have that insidious, nagging voice inside your head? The one that whispers your doubts and insecurities? And it just won't quit. The voice that blocks you from riding your best and it leaves you feeling frustrated after every ride. Do you have a full time Burger King employee inside your brain whose only job is to feed you the biggest whoppers they can come up with? We're here to put a stop to that. Today, I'm going to debunk four of the biggest lies that folks fall for and teach you exactly how to stop this once and for all. Exposing lie number one, everyone's got it figured out except me. Okay, buckle up buttercup because we are diving deep into the social media whirlpool. You're just casually scrolling through your feed, and it's all rainbows and sunshine, right? At least for everybody else. Everyone else has perfectly trained horses. Curse them! They're out there laying down credit-earning runs, and you're over here tripping over your own boots, and your horse can't figure out left from right. But wait just a hot second. Those perfectly curated posts that you're eyeballing, they're like movie trailers. They're snippets of a highlight reel. Or they're static photos hiding the baubles. Every rider. Oh, and I mean every rider. <laughs> every single one has their struggles. We all have moments where we feel like a deflated balloon in a room filled with helium-filled balloons. So let's make a pact right now. You and me. No more comparing your daily struggles and your blooper reel to someone else's highlight reel. Your journey is yours, and it's worthwhile. The ups and the downs, think of it this way. Movies and books, they all have plots, aka they all have conflict. Your life is no exception, even if it's not playing out on the silver screen. Here's how you can stop this lie. One, focus on your progress, okay? Don't focus on someone else's finish line. Celebrate your small wins. Celebrate your 1% improvements. Rode five times this week? Give yourself a high five. 
nailed that turn, bust out a victory dance. Recognize your own efforts and your own greatness, 1% at a time. And two, curiosity is a superpower. I will sing this from the rooftops, baby. Reframe your perspective to get curious instead of envious. Ask yourself, what can I learn from them? From their journey, from their run, from their attitude. This game-changing perspective shifts the focus from comparison to inspiration. Okay, exposing lie number two. I'm not good enough. An oldie buddy goodie. Imposter syndrome comes roaring out and it whispers in your ear that you're not enough, that you're a fraud, telling you that that last win you had, that beautiful run was just a fluke. But you are enough. Yep, flaws and all. Yep, even with that penalty, you are enough. The good and the bad. They're what make you uniquely you. And you're pretty great. Here's how you can crush this lie. First thing, confront your inner critic head on. When that voice starts spouting off negativity, ask yourself, would I say this to a friend? If the answer is no, hush that nonsense like silencing your phone. The second way you can crush this lie Focus on your strength. Make a list of things you're good at, no matter how small. Teaching a horse to load quietly in the trailer? Check. Navigating a trail with finesse? Heck yes. Take pride in your skills and use them as a safeguard against imposter syndrome. Remember, all of us mess things up now and then. It's just part of being human. Don't let the imperfections and the missteps inherent to learning stop you. Failure isn't fatal. So when you do stumble, do the cowboy, do the cowgirl thing. Get back up, dust yourself off, and get back in the saddle. Exposing lie number three. I'll be happy when. Don't be a dummy chasing after happiness that only exists in the future. Don't fall for the lie that once you get that perfect ride, then you'll be happy. No, no, no. Just a midge more speed, and then I'll be happy with my ride. Once I get a better horse, Then I'll start winning and be happy. Once I lose 10 pounds, then I'll be worthy to buy that show outfit I want. How to stop this sucker. Practice gratitude for realsies. If I could get you to do one thing, this would be it, okay? Take a moment each day to appreciate the good things. Big and small, a peaceful ride, a nuzzle from your horse, a laugh with friends. These are all tiny bursts of delight, eager to be acknowledged. Also, focus on the present moment. Stop obsessing about the future or dwelling on the past. Mindfulness practices like a quiet moment with your horse or simply taking deep breaths can anchor you in the present, where genuine happiness is found. Release all the shoulds and the self-imposed pressure. Ditch the unrealistic expectations. Turn inward and pursue your genuine desires. Go after what you truly want, not someone else's version of success. I'm not saying don't have goals and ambitions. I'm saying 
make sure that all of the effort that you put in is for something that you want and not because you couldn't say no to someone else. If you're over the raining and ranch riding is calling your name, answer the call. Exposing lie. Number four. Failure. Failure is the opposite of success. Are you ready for the big daddy of lies? Here it is. We are conditioned to believe that failure is fatal. Oh, no. That failure is to be avoided at all costs or face the ultimate shame. Here's the real secret. Failure isn't fatal. Failure is supercharged fertilizer for growth. It's how we learn, adapt, and become stronger. So embrace the stumbles, the missteps, the epic fails. They're not roadblocks. They are stepping stones to something even better. All right, here's how you can karate chop this lie. Start by reframe your thinking. Yes, you too can befriend failure. Everybody needs a new friend. Instead of viewing failure as a source of shame and inadequacy, regard it as a chance to learn and grow. Challenge yourself with the question, what can I learn from this experience? This mindset shift, it transforms failure from a painful setback into a valuable lesson. Celebrate failure, not just the outcome. This is another way to karate chop this lie. It's a biggie. And it's simple, but it's difficult to do. So even when you feel stupid at first, keep at it and be amazed at the impact this simple practice has. Even if things didn't go as planned, ask yourself if you honestly gave it your best shot. Yes? That is something to be proud of. No? Well, get back in there and change that. When you focus on your efforts, journey, on your growth, you'll find that you won't be so overcome with disappointment when you fail. And don't forget, laugh at yourself. Find the humor in it. Let's be honest. Sometimes failure can be downright hilarious. Remember that time your horse backed up onto their fake tail and they sat down in the middle of the arena. It's pretty funny. You laughed at that video online, all right? What about the time you forgot to tighten your cinch and your saddle ended up sideways when you went to get on? We've all had embarrassing yet hilarious moments. We're working with horses. Laugh at yourself and your foibles. And remember, it's okay to not be perfect. As you navigate the challenging terrain of self-esteem as a rider and horseman, remember that while gremlins may whisper lies and doubts to you, you have the power to silence their voices. Embrace your unique journey. Celebrate your progress. Challenge your inner critic and befriend failure as a teacher. With mindfulness and a shift in perspective, you can unlock your true potential in the saddle and beyond. Ride on with confidence and know that you are capable. Happy trails. Hey, if you're listening, would you do me a huge favor? Would you please scroll down, give this a thumbs up. If you're on the podcast, rate it five stars, leave a short review, and hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it, and thanks so much. Also, if you haven't yet gotten it, make sure you get your workbook to make 2024 your best year in the saddle yet. It's free, my gift to you, and the link is in the show notes. All right, thanks so much, guys. I love hanging out with you, and I can't wait to talk to you again next week. Oh, I've got some killer podcast guests coming up that you are going to love. 
So make sure you're subscribed and on the email list so you don't miss any of these amazing interviews and guests that I've set up just for you.